Hey everyone, welcome back, and uh, I know it's been a while since my last video, so let's draw something a little bit easier. Uh, I'm just gonna show you guys how to draw and shade a cone, and I realized I haven't drawn that one. I know I've drawn a cylinder and circle and, uh, and a cube, but I haven't done a cone. So a cone is actually very easy to draw. It's almost basically like, um, like a cylinder, but it's a little bit tricky in terms of shading because of the, uh, the very uh, sharp tip. All right, so to draw any kind of cone, the easier way to draw it is to just draw in a little bit of an elliptical first. Okay, so this would be the base. And then from this elliptical, if you just draw in a line all the way across, the widest part, that's going to give us uh, kind of like you're cutting it in half. And then come to the center of this. And then whatever line you have here, just draw a little right angle. We'll go straight up. I know mine's is a little bit wobbly, so this would be a right angle. And then once you have that, from the tip here, just draw a line all the way to the edge. Okay, so I, yeah, it actually looks kind of like a boat, right? Okay, so I didn't see that coming. All right, and then let's see, so that would be the edge. Now I'm just gonna round it out. Just clean this up a little bit, and that's gonna give us cone or so you can draw it in any kind of uh, direction let's say you have maybe a little bit wider okay let's, let's try to freehand an ellipse which is always kind of difficult all right and then from here just the widest point one line across and then from the middle again 90 degrees right here from the tip, however high you wanted to make it. So that would be your cone again. So here's the edge. Just gonna round this out. Okay, so then and then you can just kind of erase out the uh, lines on the inside here. Then we can see it clearly. All right, so whenever you draw this kind of uh, shape, always just Go ahead and draw in the back too you know we always want to envision the full shape even behind it and that's going to give you you know just a little i guess better representation of you know what you're trying to draw and you're going to feel the shape a little bit more okay so for shading let's come back to this shape so that we don't have to draw it again <laughs> okay so let's just say that there's a light coming through this side okay so here from the center right here i'm just going to go straight down and this can be anywhere. I'm just trying to make it easy. So it's just right in the center right here. So that means the light's coming here. This will be the uh, terminator right here. So the light's gonna fall off and on the back right here, this light's not gonna reach any of this area. All right, so we can make this kind of dark. Now I'm gonna shade this side first. So from this part, I'm just gonna go this way. Make this a little bit darker here. Okay, and then from here, let's just even it out just a little bit more. Let's say the highlight's right around here. And then on this edge, I'll shade in a little bit because this, you know, we want to show this being round and it would be a little bit darker right here. And I'll talk about some of the more important uh, things about shading this a little bit later. Let me finish shading this first. Because there's a lot of uh, a common error on shading the cone is actually drawing shading on the top right here. Okay, so that's going to be the front. And then now for the back. So whatever light you have here. So let's just continue this. I'm just going to give this an overall darker shade first so the thing to remember whatever happens back here has nothing to do with this light coming this way it has everything to do with the light going past and hitting the environment and bouncing back into this so this is going to be all based on bounce lighting alright so in general we want to make this a little bit darker and then let's we're going to 
actually it's gonna be the same kind of shading as this, but just on this side, but everything's gonna be darker. So I'm gonna shade this way. Just a little bit of cross hatching. A little bit darker here. Maybe even darker. Um, just depends on you know how much bounce light you wanna you know you wanna make it or simulate it. You know from the uh, from the main light here, how much bounce light you want. So if there's a lot of bounce light, obviously this will be a little bit lighter. Everything will be a little bit lighter. All right, and then let's see if you want to draw the shadow. Uh, I'll just draw a real quick shadow right here. I'm not going to go into that much because there's, if you take any kind of perspective drawing classes, um, they'll show you how you can measure and draw these lines with the shadows and stuff. But all right, just roughly, just something like that. Okay, so here's the important part about shading uh, a cone. It's pretty much like shading a cylinder, right? If you have a cylinder, right? So here's the middle again, again, same lighting. And this would be, you know, going to this, here's the highlight. This will be the darkest part. Give this one shade on the back first. And then again, the bounce lighting, whatever you wanna do. Just move this out a little bit. Okay, so that's a cylinder. And the thing to remember is just that the cone is the same thing. It's just that we're taking the upper part and we're squeezing it really, really small. So that's why when you're shading this, say, let's see, let's move to here. Let's have this. When you shave, so when you shade any section here, just remember, whatever you do down here has to be the same up here, and it's going to be a lot smaller. Okay, so let's say if you're drawing this really dark right here, whatever, you know, shading you have up down here, you're going to have to replicate it up here, but it's going to be really, really tight. So if I take any, any kind of section here, if I take this section and I put it up here, gonna be like that right or if it's gonna be here it's gonna be right around here do this so that's the key part about shading a cone it's up here because a lot of time what happens is that you know when you guys shade the top you shade like this and then you're gonna end up getting the top right here really dark compared to the bottom all right so this looks a little bit weird right because it's a little bit too dark up here so right on the top, this is not correct. So this part right here needs to be a, a lot lighter or the same kind of gradation. So I guess the easy way of shading a cone is to draw these kind of lines like this. It's almost a little fan. Okay, so it's just more like this. Okay, so that the tip here don't get all, you know, too, a little bit too dark. But that's the only thing. I mean, everything else is, uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty basic. So just kind of remember, it's the same thing as the cylinder. All we're doing is just squeezing the top. So all this space right here gets squeezed to a really small area right there. And that's the same, it, you know, goes the same thing on both sides. So, okay, so I think that is pretty much it. You know, these are very basic shapes, and again, they're very important to, uh, to kind of understand and just kind of be able to freehand it, you know, because when you draw a lot of stuff, it's really just made up of uh, a lot of basic shapes anyway. All right, so that is it for this uh, tutorial on how to draw and shade a cone. Uh, it's very basic, but yeah, very uh, important stuff as well. So hopefully on the next video, I can draw in, you know, maybe a portrait or two. You know, make it a little bit more interesting and uh, not so, I guess, a little bit more advanced. 
Alright, so I hope you guys enjoy this and I will see you next time.